Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you or rather telling you how I made these abs right here for my Kogi Sudemaru cosplay. As you all know or may not know, I actually crossplay and uh, my newest cosplay that I'm working on is Kogi. However, Kogi has the open chest whenever he wears his kimono and I'm a woman with these lovelies. So I had to figure out how exactly I was going to compensate for the fact that I can't really just have them out. So I haven't really seen many tutorials or topics that cover this on YouTube so I decided to do it myself. Most of the time you see stuff about breastplates and whatever. But I looked up how to make a muscle suit. That's where you should look. You should look how to make a muscle suit and that'll give you some help on what you need. However, I can't make a full muscle suit because all I need was the chest piece. So I thought about it for a while and I finally decided that this will be the best option. So what I did is I went out and I got some foam. This one inch foam. I would actually recommend getting an inch foam because it'll be better it'll be easier for you to carve into because I had to like actually cut this in half and stack it on top of each other so you should get the inch foam if the half inch foam is cheaper go ahead and get the half inch because you can cut it and paste it on top like how I did so from there I carved in two you can you can tell in some spots I, I guess better than others but if you were to bend it you can see how I actually did carve into it like it's not just like it's not just like um uh, painted like that it's actually carved like that so I carved it after that I had this fabric right here which as you can tell doesn't really match my skin tone but it's a stretch fabric one way stretch I would actually recommend getting a two-way stretch because I didn't know that this fabric actually frayed if you were to cut it. After that, I went ahead and put this on top. And in order to get it on top, I used some tacky spray. You should probably use something stronger. However, tacky spray is good enough for what I needed it for. And it's perfectly fine. It works. After everything was set, I made sure to set in the creases enough. Like I said, it's better to get one inch foam because you can carve the creases better. If you guys want an in-depth tutorial of how I did this, like I'll re I'll probably make another one or something similar to it to show you guys the actual process of it being made. So after I glued everything on, I went ahead and I tried to make it match my skin tone a little bit better, which is 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 better but like it's, it's not gonna be close enough to my face to where people should be able to tell i mean they're gonna know that it's fake but they should be able to tell that it's like not like ivory like this color this is ridiculous like the difference here was ridiculous i asked my boyfriend if it matched and it matched better than any of the other fabrics that were available at joann's so in order to get it to match better i went ahead and bought these little elf palettes this is a Sunkiss Glow Bronzer and I applied this I applied this all over the abs to try and give it an effect that matches closer to my current skin tone and I did that with a brush and just brushed it on layer layering in between layers I would spray a setting spray in order for it to not essentially rub off so after that, I applied an ivory, which is a highlight. Eventually I went to white because white would be the best highlight for them. You probably can't tell on camera, but in person you can see the highlights a lot better. You, you can tell a bit, like here and here, a little here, what have you. So the highlights are there. So for the the creases or the where the shadows should be cast be sure to uh, if you're gonna do something like this be sure to look up a reference of I looked up anime abs because I mean it's not gonna be real life 
I guess is what I'm saying. But anyway, be sure to look up a reference for how sh shadows fall on an actual body or whatever. For these shadows, I just used a darker color than my sun Sunkissed Glow, which I can't seem to find, but it was one of the e.l.f. little thingies. It was one of these, and it was a darker color, and I went ahead and I just used a, a brush, a makeup brush, and I just like went ahead and added the shading and stuff. Also, remember, between each layer, each, every single layer, I sprayed the setting spray. That was to prevent transfer as well as makeup transfer onto my cosplay or onto any or onto any of my clothing because I don't want this stuff on my clothing and it seems to work rather well. The first time I made this, I actually made it into a shirt which pulled over, but I wasn't liking the result of how it looked and it wasn't like flush or flush enough against my body. So I went ahead and I put some elastic on the back, which works rather well. The first time when I put the elastic on was, as you can see, there's little wrinkles right here because that it was pulling really tightly, which I liked how it sat against my body, but it was pulling too tight. And when I took it off, it made these wrinkles, which is okay since you're not really gonna see that area too well when I wear Kogi, but you're gonna see it well enough. So uh, I went ahead and I added some more. Right back there, added some more. Just to help it out a bit. And I had to actually decrease the size of this because this goes under my arms and it sits against the skin. And it's still a little too loose, but that's perfectly okay. But that is how I made it. And I can also show you guys an in-depth tutorial if you want which I'll probably won't be making abs but I'll probably make something else who needs to work out when you could just make abs right that's right I wish show you how it looks on but I'm wearing Lolita and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that would look ridiculous so yeah as you can, <laughs> sorry as you can see this is what I mean about the wrinkling this is from it pulling too tight it was a lot tighter than this though but this is okay because I needed to sit against my abdomen and <laughs> this is so weird I shouldn't have worn Lolita as you can see this is what I mean like it doesn't like sit completely <laughs> completely against the skin but it's good enough for me you can adjust it and find out what works for you this is what worked for me so that's it for today's video And I will see you guys later. Have a good evening, day, night, wherever you are. <laughs>